core, abilities can either be assigned to players at the start of a game or when they equip a special item. For this tutorial, we are going to make the player wave. With core open to a project, navigate to the core content tab and scroll down to the bottom of the left side panel list to the game object section and drag an equipment object into the project hierarchy. This will add an equipment object to your project hierarchy. Equipment comes with a pickup trigger that allows players to equip the object when the player touches it. When you drag the equipment into the project hierarchy, it will drop into your game scene at the location 000, which will look like this. If you do not see anything, press V on the keyboard to toggle the gizmos, which is all the game objects, on or off. The white box you are seeing is the pickup trigger, which is what allows you to pick up the equipment. When a player walks into this field, they will immediately equip the equipment. With the equipment object selected in the hierarchy, check out the properties window. Scroll down to the section titled equipment. Change the socket property from head to pelvis. The socket property determines where the equipment will be attached to the player. We want the equipment to disappear, so for simplicity, we will attach it to somewhere that will be hidden by the player's body. Doing these first two steps have already made it so you can pick up the equipment when playing the game and walking through it. Now we want to make it something that we can see. Let's add a model to it that the players will be able to see. You can choose whatever you would like and fit your game, but in our case, we'll use this core object. Drag your object onto the equipment object and you will receive a prompt asking to make it network. Select Make Children Networked when this window appears. In the Properties window, scroll down to the Scene section. We need to change the Collision section from Inherit from Parent to Force Off. Now right-click the Art folder and hover over Create Network Context to select New Client Context containing this to ensure better performance for the game by wrapping the art in a client context. So far in this tutorial, if you have been dragging things directly into the project hierarchy, they should all be sitting at the 000 position of the game world. Make sure everything is together in the spot you expect, and that your model and equipment trigger are in the same location. You might even want to drag the whole thing upwards so that the trigger rests on top of the floor rather than halfway onto the floor. Altogether, it should look like this. Now to set up the animation, navigate back to the core content tab and the gameplay object section. And this time drag an ability object into your project hierarchy to make it a child of the equipment object. The ability object starts with the default settings in the properties window. To make our own wave, navigate to the properties window and scroll down to the ability section to change the key binding property to ability feet. The key binding is what button will activate the ability. In this case, ability feet is the shift key on keyboards. Still in the properties window and right beneath the key binding, change the animation property to unarmed wave. Abilities also affect how the camera works when the ability is used. And in the case of this wave animation, it would be nice to be able to face the camera when we do it. To make sure this happens, with the ability selected in the properties window, scroll down to the cast section. We want to change the facing mode from aim to none so that our camera is not affected in the stage of the ability. Do the same thing for the facing mode in the execute section. Now the ability is fully usable. When you play your game, pick up the object and then press the shift key, you will be able to wave hello. Of course, it would be nice to know when the ability has been activated and how long it will be before you can use it again on screen. For this, we need a UI. There are pre-made templates within core content that you can use very quickly to set up the UI for your new ability. When the ability is in a cooldown phase, it will darken the ability button and show the seconds remaining until the ability is usable again. To get this to work correctly with the ability we made, go to core content. Search for the ability display object. It can also be found in the game components UI drag it into your hierarchy. If you now click this object from within the hierarchy, the properties tab will show you a few custom properties that we will need to change to set up the ability display. Change the binding property from ability primary to ability feet. Change the text field to shift to stand for the left shift key. Check the show ability name property. If you renamed your ability to wave, this is the name that will show over the display button. If you haven't changed the name yet, it will default to saying Ability. To make sure your icon symbol matches our ability, go down to the icon object within the Ability Binding Display. Within the Properties window of the icon, double-click the image's property to choose from all of Core's other built-in UI icons. Let's choose the icon hand image. Now the UI element will update automatically once the ability is cast. Congrats on creating your first ability! Please view our channel's other videos and tutorials, and tune in to Core Live to interact with developers and the community.
Details are in the description below. Make sure to drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. You're well on your way to making anything you can imagine a reality in CORE.